welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new here. This video is part of an ongoing a series that I've been running this week, which is my budget gift guides. Last week I did an ultimate gift guide for him and for her, both were more high and more luxury. This week, however, I have done on Monday a Poundland stocking filler and giveaway. I am giving away all the contents of that video, so be sure to enter if you haven't already. Then on Wednesday, I did a Secret Santa slash stocking filler gift guide, um, all around the five pound budget. And then today is a little more creative because we are getting DIY hamper ideas and yeah. I've been super excited to film this ever since I did my DIY and dupes video for White Company that you guys seem to love and then I also did the fall inspired home decor from Poundland DIY video so I think you guys like the DIY inspired I mean don't get me wrong I'm not like a crafty person or really creative I just have like an element of creativity that I like to like kind of give to you guys for inspiration and ideas to go and do your own take on it. So I have a variety of different hamper ideas that I thought would be great ideas for gifts to give to someone this year, a little more sentimental and thoughtful. So if you haven't already, make sure you are cozy, comfy, get a pen and paper ready if you wanna jot down any ideas yourself throughout this video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll also leave both my Instagram accounts down below. So let's get started on hamper number one, and this is just, so exciting for me. <sighs> ah! I love Reese's. I think it's so delicious. I'm not gonna lie, this one is folded over because I've actually already opened it and had some. So we'll just ignore that. So this hamper all in all is $5.99 for the actual hamper itself from B&M. These are really great. They have like a dark wood effect one as well, which is maybe a little more masculine, but inside it comes all the cellophane that you need, a ribbon and the actual basket itself. So pretty generously sized as well. So $5.99 for a good simple staple hamper. They also do them at Poundland for five pounds. They're a little bit smaller though. I really like these ones from B&M. So I filled it with all different Reese's goodies, all of which pretty much cost a pound each, apart from the bigger ones and the advent calendar at the back, which I have bought for myself. And it's £4.50, I think I got that one from Home Bargains. But I think they are on offer at the minute at £3.99 in B&M. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're a Reese's fan too. These ones are also my fave. The white chocolate ones, oh, delicious. I mean, this hamper all in all is around about 15, 20 pounds you could create a hamper like this. And obviously it doesn't have to be Reese's, it could be relative to the particular chocolate type that that person that you're buying for loves. It could be all white chocolates, all dark chocolates. It could be a mixture of their favorite chocolates, it could be all chocolate oranges. Yeah, just throwing out some ideas there. Okay, and the next hamper is more of a mini budget friendly one at $3.99 and it comes already like so from B&M. This is the Buttercust Movie Night Popcorn Sharing Bowl. In it, you get the actual bowl itself and two popcorns. The toffee one is so delicious. And then the cinnamon style sweet one is like an, a go-to for me. So this is a cute little hamper in itself, but you could obviously add to it. You could put it within the bigger wicker hamper and put movie. DVDs in there, slippers, pajamas, other snacks, drinks. You could go full on and do a full movie night hamper, which I think would be a nice idea. And then you could even include in there some cinema gift cards and vouchers as well. Okay, just breathe in a second. Are you ready for this next hamper idea? Because it's probably my favorite one. It is a hashtag hinge hamper. If you don't know Mrs. Hinch, this is gonna be really irrelevant to you guys. But I hope that by now you guys know who she is. She's incredible. Follow her on Instagram if you don't already, Mrs. Hinch. She is the cleaning queen. Oh my God, this is heavy. So why not create, in the hamper, a Hinch hamper. I just think this is a great idea for buying for someone who is also a Mrs. Hinch lover. This is like a festive edition, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna put it down because it's heavy. I'm gonna show you what is inside, but uh, you could do it seasonal like I have, 
or I actually bought it a couple of months ago for a friend for her birthday, a little mini hint hamper that I created for her. So that obviously wasn't seasonal. First and foremost, include one of her books. She has two. The first one is more like tips and tricks on what she does. And the second one, which is the one I got, is the activity journal, which I love. There's loads of different fun and games and lists and coloring. This is my kind of book. And then in terms of cleaning products, I went festive with scents. Obviously, the Flash bring out every year some seasonal scents. The apple spice ones they brought out this year, it's limited edition. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I also went for the Clementine and Clove wipes, which I got last Christmas. These smell so good, I'm tempted to stock up on some. By the way, you're gonna be seeing these in a Christmas speed clean, I'm sure of it, because you guys loved my autumnal themed one. So stay tuned for that, probably in December. Nice item, cheap and cheerful to bulk up. These are all cleaning products. They're all fairly affordable. These you can get for like a pound. And this one is in festive pomegranate. Febreze, I'm such a Febreze lover. I Febreze my bed every day after I make it. And I love the lavender scented one, but I opted for the vanilla latte because I think it's quite warm and cozy and good for this time of the year. And then in terms of an air freshener, there are so many. Febreze do a whole host of different ones. I went for this one because I think it will work quite nicely with the apple spice. So this one is apple cinnamon and nutmeg from Glade. And then we have some toilet products. Mrs. Tinch is a big lover of the Harpic Pine. And then also these duck active clean things that you clip onto the toilet, again in pine. And then 1001 Carpet Fresh. I love this stuff. I spritz it on after I've hoovered everywhere. So this is in a limited edition in frosted winter berries. And then I also spotted this limited edition of Lenore Unstoppables. I pop these in my wash, uh, like a cap full in every wash and it makes it smell amazing. You can also pop these in cushion covers to keep them nice and fresh and smelling. So when you sit on the sofa, it like puffs out a little smell of unstoppables. This one is in a limited edition winter glow. And it's, I think it's lavish. It smells pretty much like lavish, which is this color and it's my favorite scent. So I don't know if they've actually added anything to it or not, but either way, lavish is my favorite, so I have to pick up them. And then also we have the Santa's Footprints Neutrodol. If you've never heard of this, you essentially can put it places to neutralize bad odors. So in bins, even in your outdoor bins, these are suitable for that or even just like on carpets and things, just to give them a bit of a refresh. But what I liked about this one is it comes free with a little footprint stencil. I think I got this one from Home Bargains. And um, yeah, it's in festive pine as well, so it smells great. But it also will allow you to just dust over and leave Santa's footprints if you have kids. I think that's a really cute idea. And then Fabulosa is like the Zaflora dupe, although it's not that much cheaper, and I actually prefer Zaflora. I'm just gonna put it out there. They do have the Christmassy scents out. This one is in Christmas tree. I did buy that, however I then found the new Zafloras, which are Festive Fireside. They had this one last year and I love it, it's one of my faves. And then they brought out Sparkling Spruce. So I'm just gonna bring you on to another hamper idea and add these to it because if you're a Zaflora fan like me, then why not do a little Zaflora hamper? This basket is actually from, I think I got this from Primark for a couple of pounds in a nice gold color, so nice and festive. You could put a big bow around it, you could wrap it up, you could put cellophane around it, or just leave it like so. I would be so happy with receiving this for Christmas. Winter Morning is another wintry one that smells delightful. They do Winter Spice, Cranberry and orange, that one's actually really good. But I also really love warm cinnamon. My favorite non-Christmassy one, because all the Christmas ones trump all the others for me. But the rest of the year, this one that they brought out this year, the mandarin and lime, this is my favorite non-festive Zaflora. Okay, next up we have a, what I like to call a Hooger hamper. So probably a lot of people will be like, what on earth is Hooger? It's this here which is spelt H-Y-G-G-E. The Danish word for warmth and peace. It's something we all aspire to. This charming little book filled with comforting quotes and simple tips will help kindle the coziness in your own life. So it's a cozy hamper. That's kind of what this is. This little book, I think I got this 
on ASOS. Essentially, this is a warming, cozy hamper that I just thought looked so inviting and good for like a best friend or a mum or a sister. So inside, I have included this, which is a regular feature. This is the hot water bottle from Home Bargains, the White Company dupe, $4.99, so affordable and so, so soft. And then we also have from the Winter Woodland range, which is also Home Bargains, these faux fur slider slippers. So again, super cozy and soft, gorgeous beige tone, nude. That's something I try and do as well is stay color themed because I think it makes a hamper look nicer if it's all kind of matchy matchy. Um, but obviously that's not essential, that's just me, perfectionist. Like, it just gives me satisfaction when it looks matching. Anyway, you guys know I'm a lover of the neutrals, so I picked up these slippers in beige. And then also beige, this slip silk mask. I included the black one in my gift guide for her video, and I have since recently been sent this beige one, which is just oh, delightful. This is a silk sleep mask. If you've never heard of them, they do silk pillowcases as well. It's just meant to be bent more beneficial to your skin. It's less harsh. They are a bit more premium, but they have a lot of these with scents in as well, lavender and heated ones in TK Maxx. Um, speaking of TK Maxx, I picked these up at TK Maxx for £3.79. Again, neutral in colour theme, kind of matchy matchy. Also, Matching with the brown and neutrals, the Lush Bath Bombs are in this like brown wrapping paper. Oh my god, this one smells amazing. Turmeric Latte this is. <gasps> Can't wait to use this. It smells divine. So I picked that one up to go in. A nice little pamper bath night. Where else do you light your candle? Neom do the best candles or some of the best. Oh my god, it just smells so good. I love Neon for their candles. I also included a little treat. So this one again, I loved the cream coloured tin. So this is Oxfordshire Tea Company Butter Fudge. And it was a couple of quid from Home Bargains. I also included these two books. I guess you could pick and choose. I already had these books anyway, hence why I wanted to include them in this hamper. This one is a How to Hygge. The Secrets of Nordic Living, which I think has got recipes and a bit of like home interior. And then this one, which I showed you earlier, is cute because it's nice little positive affirmation quotes and things that you can read nice and easy. And I don't know, just put a little positive smile on your face. And then last but not least, a good pair of either pyjamas or what I've included is like a loungewear jogger set. This one is from Opoly, but it's essentially a ribbed jogger set with like a little crop top. And I guess you could put like a nice thick knit cozy cardigan with that. Or like I said, pyjamas, Primark. We all know and love Primark pyjamas. They're nice and cozy and it's nice to get like a new set every year. So that is my Huga hamper. And my next hamper is a home fragrance hamper so a couple of these products could be like interchangeable I mean Huga had some candles and stuff in but this one is purely home fragrance and I have put it in this basket which is it was two pounds from Poundland I know two pounds from Poundland they're very cheeky this one was a pound from Poundland. It is their oil burner wax melt thing which you pop a little tea light in there and either pop a wax melts in there or some like oil and it just makes the house smell amazing um, but obviously you can't leave them on all the time so when you are out and about and you have your reed diffusers out I have one in here somewhere I actually have two I'm going to show you this one first this frankincense and myrrh one from home bargains these one are new in they have a load of festive scented candles and reed diffusers so I picked up the frankincense and myrrh for this hamper because again I love the aesthetics of the cream and the golds so they I thought would fit quite nicely in there. Again, these are like one pound something each or two pound each, so very, very affordable. I also included within the little hamper this, which is one of my favorite Febreze, one of my favorite scents for the Febreze air freshener. Let's just spritz a little bit now. Mm, vanilla latte, it smells so good. You have to be a coffee lover to like that though. I also included a festive Zaflora. This one again kind of goes with the theme of the neutral brownie kind of colours. This, this one is festive fireside and it's one of my faves. I also got these from Panlam, which I included in my video on Monday. And these are the scented hanging decorations in evergreen. You can pop them in your car, 
But I actually saw these and kind of intended on having them on an artificial Christmas tree. So if you have an artificial Christmas tree, we are holding out for a real one this year. But if you do have an artificial one, these are really great because they make your house and room smell like there's a real tree in there. Another Reed Diffuser that I just love the packaging and the branding and again it's home bargains. This one is in pomegranate, it's a good scent to have. So again another Reed Diffuser for a few pounds. And then these from B&M are cute, I thought they would go nice in the little oil burner because they are scented frosted fur. This little pack of 12 tea lights is only £1.50. And then I also included these from Zara Home, they are the incense sticks. I have burnt a couple of these already, but I was kind of holding out because I wanted to include them within this video. Yeah, you can see there's a few missing there. Uh, but these are really good if you don't have an incense holder stick holder thing, then they sell them in Poundland, obviously a pound. So yeah, I got these ones. These ones are in white jasmine and I think they're about four pounds. Some luxury matches because, oh, I suppose you could do like a luxury lighter. I don't know if they exist, but I have these ones from the white company. They are super long and they have little white tips as well. Just it's the little things, you know, it's the little things. And then last but not least in my home fragrance hamper, I have this, which is a room spray. So as opposed to like a Febreze one which I tend to use like once I've been cleaning. This is nice to just spritz up. I feel like they're a little bit stronger and more luxury smelling. So this one is in pomegranate. These are the classic, oh, yeah, so good. These are the classic Aldi ones, which I mean, we all know and love the fact that Aldi do Jo Malone Dukes. So they are all the hampers that I've actually created to show you within this video, but just another couple of ideas thrown out there for you guys. Again, depending on who you're buying for, I just think think of what they're interested in and create a hamper solely around that because it's all the more exciting to open up like a themed hamper, I find. So whether it be maybe gardening they're into. I know there's a whole aisle of gardening in B&M and also in Home Bargains and in Poundland actually. They all have like a gardening aisle. So you could create a little gardening hamper. You could also do one based around a sport or something that if uh, you're potentially getting a hamper for a guy that is into sports or games, you know, like PlayStation games, FIFA, put some football boots in there, some socks, like more affordable bits, because we all know how much men don't like socks, if you didn't see my gift guide for him video. But if they're within a hamper, I feel they're less like, yay, socks. It's more like, oh, a hamper full of goodies within there is socks. Also, uh, food and drink related hampers. I know I showed you my Reese's one, amazing. But if you're buying for someone who likes a tipple, Christmas tipple, you could do a little um, alcoholic hamper. Or you could do like a food hamper in terms of chutneys, cheese is like a real Christmassy, wholesome hamper. And then you've got the likes of people that like crafts, maybe stationery, maybe even like if they're into knitting or sewing and like crafty kind of things like that, you could pop in like a magazine. You could do a hamper of a scrapbook with the actual book itself and some like stickers and little bits like that, that they can then create their own scrapbook. Another popular idea for a hamper is a Christmas Eve a box maybe included within there you could do like pjs slippers cozy kind of items dvds treats and everything that you can indulge in and just relax chill and maybe even some family games in there as well so that you could have a little games night before christmas day so the possibilities really are endless i hope this video has given you a bit of an insight and a bit of an idea as to what you could create in terms of hampers for your loved ones. Let me know which hamper was your favourite and which one you would love to receive. And of course, any other suggestions of hampers, share them down below. I'm sure all of you guys would like to hear other people's suggestions as well, as I would like to hear your suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one and don't forget to enter that Poundland giveaway if you haven't already. I will leave a whole playlist below of all my Christmas gift guides for 2019. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!